A lot has happened in one day since the shooting after the basketball game between Minchville and Woodside High Schools. Today, we learned Newport News police have arrested a suspect. Police charge 18-year-old Damari Batten with second-degree murder and gun charges. Police say he shot and killed 17-year-old Woodside High student Justice Dunham. And 10 on your side's Michelle Wolf picks up our coverage from there. Michelle, you spoke with a friend of Justice. That's right. I spoke with a girl who's known him since eighth grade. She told me Justice was one of those guys who was going places in life, and when she heard about the shooting at Menchville, she didn't want to believe it. A dedicated athlete, classmate, and friend killed by a single gunshot after a basketball game at Menchville High School. My heart just kind of dropped because I was just thinking, why, what happened? How could that possibly happen to him? Lovey Tran, a senior at Woodside who has known Justice Dunham since the eighth grade, tells 10 on your side she wasn't at the game Tuesday night, but quickly heard word of the shooting through social media. When I first saw it, I didn't believe it was Justice, the Justice that I knew. That person she calls a caring and ambitious friend. He brings the light to the room. He's a very good role model. He's a great support system, especially on the field. They looked up to him. A lot of people looked up to him. Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew detailed an altercation that happened in the gym and after the game spilled into the parking lot. Now, apparently there were two individuals that we know of that had some words going back and forth, some gestures back and forth. After hours of questioning, police arrested 18-year-old Damari Batten in the shooting death of Dunham. Batten is charged with second-degree murder, use of a firearm, and commission of a felony and a firearm on school property. We know what happened and we know who did it. Um, for me is why. And it, that's going to take a little bit. The victim was at the victim's vehicle, and Mr. Batten had approached the victim. Police say both parties were in possession of firearms. Three were recovered Tuesday at the scene. One of the three was used by Batten. Gun violence is out of control. When will this stop? When will we stop meeting like this? Tran and her classmates are still processing the news and are calling for change. You never know what can happen and what can happen to the people around you. And never resolve to violence as a solution. I also reached out to Dunham's coach and teammates on the Woodside High School football team where Dunham was a wide receiver. They told me they were unable to comment on his death. Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side.